Welcome back to Cronkite News. I'm Lindsay Zinti, and this is your Cronkite Sports Report. The Suns playoff series with the Pelicans is all tied up at two games apiece. The pivotal Game 5 tips off at Footprint Center tonight. The Suns will once again be without Devin Booker, and head coach Monty Williams, well, he will be without some extra cash. He was fined $15,000 for criticizing the refs after Game 4. The Suns, however, will have the home crowd behind them tonight. We can't expect to sweep people. You know what I'm saying? It would be lovely to do it. But they're in the NBA, too. They got, they got, uh, they got elite scorers also. You get what I'm saying? So we got to respect them at the same time. A couple of blocks away, the Diamondbacks host the Dodgers in game two of a three-game series against their division rival. Downtown Phoenix will be crawling with sports fans. Yesterday, the Diamondbacks dropped game one to the Dodgers four to nothing, thanks to an amazing performance from Dodgers starting pitcher Walker Bueller, who threw a complete game three hit shutout. He also struck out 10. Let's see if the Diamondbacks bats can come alive tonight. Baghdad is a small mining community in northwestern Arizona and has one of the top 1A high school baseball teams in the state. Cronkite News reporter Hayden Weber introduces us to pitcher Connor Watson, who put the Copper State on notice with a historic no-hitter streak. With plenty of high school baseball talent across the board in Arizona, no one has been able to accomplish what Baghdad pitcher Connor Watson did over the stretch of four straight starts. He threw four consecutive no-hitters, a feat that few believe has ever been done. Oh, no, I've never came close, close to that, but I have dreamed of it. The streak came to an end at four against Benjamin Franklin High School, but Watson collected a pair of hits and two RBI in the game, showcasing his versatility. Not only is he a force on the mound, but he can also swing the bat and play behind the plate. Well, I do take pride in it. Like, I just try to focus. No, I don't try to focus on one simple thing. I try to focus on both of them at the same time. That way I stay consistent with both of them. Three of Watson's no-hitters were caught by one of his best friends, Keelan Lucero. Head coach Dalton Mills has seen the two grow up together, improving their chemistry over time. Since they're like in elementary school, like I've seen them growing, growing up, playing like Pop Warner, like youth baseball together. So uh, I've known them for quite a while. I also coach football. They're like quarterback, running back combo too. Coach Mills believes his team has adopted the blue collar attitude of its community. The team remains focused on the task at hand, and that's to return right here to Tempe Diablo Stadium to compete for and win the state championship. We're a good team. We have a lot of energy. We come out and play hard, uh, and I think we can take it this year for sure. Winning the championship would cap off a special season for Watson and the Sultans, who caught the attention of the entire state with their play. In Tempe, Hayden Weber, Cronkite News. The Coyotes season is almost over as they have just three games left. They open a back-to-back -back road trip tonight in Minnesota before returning home Friday to finish the season. That will be their final game at Gila River Arena. That's all for today's Cronkite Sports Report. Back to you, Mitchell.